Hey guys, thanks for joining me again, out on location for another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome guys. If you're not new, welcome back. So I'm gonna do something tonight that I haven't done in about two years, and that is I'm gonna shoot a massive panorama of the rising Milky Way in the southeastern sky. And then I'm gonna kick back for a couple of hours. I'm gonna watch the Milky Way core flip straight overhead. And then I'm gonna image it again in the western sky in the same night. So let's get stuck into it. So I've made my way to a beautiful part of New South Wales here, which is Gloucester Tops. And I've picked this location for a very specific reason. Now, like I said, I'm gonna image the Milky Way in the, the rising Milky Way in the south east, and then I'm gonna image it again in the western sky. So I needed a location that was pretty much wide open and had a lot of high ridge lines so I could get, you know, clear perspectives of both the eastern and western horizon. So I've made my way up here onto this ridge line and it sets up absolutely perfect. So what it means is I don't have to travel that far between locations. It's literally about 500 meters between where I'm going to start the night and where I'm going to finish the night. Um, so that sets up really, really well. Now, I'm actually going to stick to the road. There's some awesome compositions to be had if you just get off the road a little bit into the grass. But I've already seen two massive snakes out here and I do not want any part of it. I know that it's freezing cold and they're, they're probably a bit docile at the moment, but I don't want any part of it. I want nothing to do with them chewing on my legs. So I'm going to stick to the road tonight, which means the composition will suffer a little bit, but you know, I've got a pretty good outlook here, both east and west, so um, we still get, we still should get something pretty reasonable. So there's going to be a bit of back and forth going on tonight, and that's just because I want to utilise this moon that we've got. We've got about 25% moon overhead at the moment. And what I'm gonna do with that is use that for the foreground to illuminate the foreground to help me out a little bit. Now, because I don't have anything really close to the camera, essentially I'm shooting a panorama of, you know, the next ridge line. It's a long way away from the camera and I really wanna, you know, try and get some detail out of that. So the moon illuminating uh, the foreground will really help us out. But what that means is I'm gonna to have to shoot the foreground for the first panorama and then relocate, go and shoot the foreground for the second panorama, and then come back, shoot the sky for the first panorama, move back up, shoot the second sky, um, just so everything's shot from the same location. So there's gonna be a bit of moving around tonight, but you know, I'll have plenty of time throughout the night, so that's no big drama. So it's time to get foreground number one underway. Um, obviously, we've still got the moon up there helping us out, and I've ended up with settings of ISO 640, one and a half minute exposures, and f 2.8. Now, I can obviously mix that up as much as I want. You know, I could stop the lens down to get a bit more depth of field and just push out my exposure time, but like I said earlier, the foreground's actually a long way away, so I'll be able to get away with 2.8 and sort of keep everything in focus. And all I'm trying to do with this exposure is push, ev push everything to the right. So push the histogram as far as I can to the right uh, without any significant blowouts and those sort of things. And that just means in post-production, I can drag all the highlights down and I can drag the exposure back down to make it look darker. And all those shadows will be really, really clean. So there'll be no noise or anything like that. So let's rip in and get foreground number one done. Now that that's all done, let's set up the road and get stuck into foreground number two. So tonight I'm going to be imaging on the Sigma Art 41.4, which is my new favourite lens, and my Sony A7R2, which is hydrogen alpha modified. And taking care of the tracking tonight will be my Skywatcher Star Adventure mount, 
And I've just ripped off a couple of test shots there and I've come up with F1.4, ISO 640 and one minute exposure. So I should absolutely breeze through this sky portion of the panorama and um, hopefully give myself a bit of time to have a nap before the next one. So that pano turned out awesome. I'm super stoked with it. The colors of the air glow, that yellow orangey color, um, I think it really complements the colors that are in the foreground. So I'm super stoked with that. It's been, it's been a long time since I've had those sort of colors coming into an image. And you know, lately I've been getting a lot of greens. So um, it was definitely a welcome, welcome surprise. And if you like the images and you like what I do, be sure to let me know by liking the video, jump in the comments and let me know what you think. So I've made my way up here now to the second location to shoot this panorama in the Western sky. It's super clear. It's super cold. I've got hand warmers jammed in all kinds of places that you don't want to know about. But um, let's rip in and get this second sky done. So I couldn't have timed that any better. I've got six minutes to spare before night time is officially over. So that worked out an absolute treat. As you can see behind me, the planets are rising up there in the east. We've got some beautiful zodiacal light happening, but it's just a shame that we're not shooting in that direction. But we've got the panorama done, and I can't remember the last time the sky was, you know, that color. It was obnoxiously reddy brown, almost a muddy color. And I'll just have to wait and see how that comes up in post-production, but yeah, that was cool. So that's the first time in a couple of years that I've done an all-nighter and got the rising core in the east and then the setting core in the west. I'm super stoked. And obviously the first time in a couple of years that I've got the core in that western sky. So super pumped about that and can't wait to do more of that this season. I absolutely love it. But um, that's another one in the bag. I'm bloody tired and I'm cold, so I'm gonna go and get into a nice warm bed. And as always, till next time, cheers guys.